Hi, this is Mariola from Artisan Kitchen. Today I would like to share with you homemade pappardelle ribbon pasta making process. There are multiple uses for this pasta. You can do beef stroganoff like you just saw, spinach and mushrooms, or simply buttered noodles with lots and lots of parmesan. For this recipe, you will need up to two cups of flour and sometimes a little bit more. Two, sometimes three large eggs, about half of the teaspoon of salt. Some people add olive oil for additional elasticity as an optional ingredient. Mix eggs with some flour, salt, and if you've chosen olive oil, add olive oil at this time and mix it all very well together until it's consistent paste. Now add all of the ingredients together on a well floured, dusted surface. It could be marble, it could be wooden board. Just make sure it is not moving. If it is moving, put a wet towel underneath. Knitting by hand is very rewarding and stress relieving. To knit it well, push the dough away from you and with the heel of your hand, press on it and fold it over and press again until soft and tender and elastic. About four to five minutes. Rest the dough for at least 30 minutes or wrap it and refrigerate it for the overnight. It's time to roll out the dough. Place your dough on a lightly floured surface and keep dusting with the flour and turning as you rolling it with the rolling pin. Start in the middle and push away from you with the rolling pin, easing up on the pressure as you approach the edge. Continue rolling until 1-2 to two millimeters thin, which is the way I like it, or until you see the fingers through the bottom. Many recipes speak of cutting the dough with a sharp knife. I find it very easy to use pizza cutter or pastry cutter. It's just a little bit more fun that way. The thickness and how wide the noodles are, it's really up to you. But if you want a true pappardelle, you do want a little bit of thickness and wide noodle-like. Gently lift your ribbons of freshly cut pasta. Make sure it's very well flour dusted so it doesn't dry up too much. After you have cut your pasta into ribbons, you have some choices. You can let it dry for about 10 minutes and boil the water in the meantime. You can prepare and freeze it for some time later use. You can put it in a refrigerator or if you have guests coming, it can be covered with cotton cloth and wait until you're ready to boil the pasta. Let's assume you've decided to serve your guests shortly. Prepare a pot of boiling water with generously added salt. Once water is boiling, add strands singly, one by one, into the boiling pot. Try to do this as fast as possible, so the cooking time is the same for all of the pasta pieces. Once your water boils, again, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes, depends on the thickness that you have selected for your pasta. From time to time, I would take one strand to bite into it to see if it's tender, yet firm. They call that al dente. When your pasta is cooked al dente, drain it into the calendar and rinse it with the cold water very quickly. And so here it is, the tasty pasta with my beef stroganoff recipe. I hope you enjoyed this pasta making process. If you would like to check out some more videos on our YouTube channel, please find Artisan Kitchen and subscribe and like the channel. It costs you nothing and I will appreciate the support. You can check out our website for the online cooking programs as well. 
Thank you for your time and your support. I'll see you next Thursday with new updated video.